pronouns. Top Down Grammar, Lisa M. Kendrick. Pronouns are words that replace nouns, and there are a number of ways in which they can be used incorrectly. One instance is choosing the case, subjective, objective, or possessive. Subjective or nominative pronouns are those used as subjects of clauses. These most commonly include he, she, we, they, I, you, and it. They will be there by noon, but we will be there before 11 o'clock. They and we are both subjects of their clauses. Objective pronouns are used as direct objects, indirect objects, and objects of the preposition in clauses. These most commonly include him, her, us, them, me, you, and it. Don't bother calling her. Amy has a major paper due tomorrow. Her is the objective pronoun. If you give the project to us, Mr. Smith will have it by Friday. Us is the objective pronoun. Possessive pronouns denote possession. These serve as adjectives in sentences and include most often the following his, hers, ours, theirs, mine, my, yours, and its. This is her dark blue notebook. Your notebook is a slightly lighter blue. Her and your. Is this a slice of his chocolate chess pie or my pie? His and my. Pronouns must agree with the antecedent, the noun the pronoun references, in gender, male or female, and in number, singular or plural. Many personal singular like she, he, and I, and plural like they and we, are clear, but indefinite pronouns need attention. Some singular indefinite pronouns are anybody, anyone, anything, each, each one, either or, neither nor, everyone, everybody, and everything. Susan played her guitar instead of listening. Susan is the antecedent of her, degrees in gender and number. Simon and Justin are also not completing their work. Simon and Justin, the antecedent of their, agrees in number and gender. Either Maybelle or Lucy will turn in her assignment first. Either or makes that singular. Mabel or Lucy makes that feminine. Her agrees. Everyone should complete his or her own responsibilities. Everyone and his or her, both singular. In one sentence or piece, pronouns should not change point of view between first, second, and third. First person pronouns refer to one's self, like I, me, we, and our. Second person references the reader via you, your, yours, and yourself. Third person may also use forms of personal pronouns like he, she, they, him, her, and them, also indefinite pronouns like one or some. I was tired, and so I ordered a cappuccino, first person. You should not judge other people's caffeine consumption, second person. They ordered the same thing he had ordered, third person point of view. Be sure to use the clear and correct forms of demonstrative pronouns like this and these, interrogative pronouns like what, which, where, when, why, and how, reciprocal pronouns each other and one another, Relative pronouns like which, that, who, whom, and whose, and reflexive pronouns myself, ourselves, yourself, herself, himself, itself, themselves. Use the word that when the subsequent words define or describe something essential to the meaning or if referencing a thing or animal. Those are the dishes that need to be put away. That is a Jack Russell puppy. Use the word which if the words that follow give information that isn't crucial to the meaning. Those dishes, which once belonged to my grandmother, need to be put away. Who is a subject word and whom is an object word. Both of them refer to people. Who made those colorful posters? To whom does this pin belong? Reflexive pronouns should only be used to refer to the grammatical subject of the sentence. Myself wrote every word of the paper. That is incorrect. We will be going to the city by ourselves. That is correct. A final point about pronouns is that they should be clear and not overused. An issue called vague pronoun reference. 
The jury will render her verdict tomorrow. In that sentence, we aren't sure to whom her refers. Jack told Jill she would meet them at the hill. Again, we have no idea who them is.